Well, hello and welcome back. Today is lecture 3-2S on velocity-based motion models. We will give an example and then solve it by using MATLAB to see how you can do this to find the posterior belief that a robot is at a given location. So we're going to use the velocity motion model to find the probability of controlling a mobile robot from an initial pose of x prime equal to 0, 0, 0 to a final position of x equal 1.8, 0.75, pi over four, given a control input with a linear velocity of one meter per second and an angular velocity of pi over eight radians per second. We will assume that the robot motion error parameters are 0 0.15 and the motion error is modeled with a triangular distribution. So our noise model will be based upon the linear velocity v hat is equal to v plus epsilon alpha one times the magnitude of the linear velocity plus alpha two times the magnitude of the angular velocity. Omega hat, the angular velocity will be equal to omega plus epsilon alpha three times the magnitude of the linear velocity plus alpha four times the magnitude of the angular velocity. And finally, gamma hat will be based upon the error, the sum of alpha five times the magnitude of the linear velocity plus alpha six times the magnitude of the angular velocity. So we will be using the triangular distribution in order to model the error, and the algorithm for that is given by A comma B, where A represents our zero mean error, and B would represent our standard deviation. So that's going to be the max of zero and one over the square root of six times B minus the magnitude of A over six B squared. And here's what our algorithm looks like. So we're gonna pass in an initial value, a final value, as well as our control input. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use those in order to find the instantaneous center of curvature or parameters for our circle. So we're gonna have U where X star and Y star are the center of the circle and R star is the radius of the circle. And then from that, we're going to find the change in heading, which is delta theta, and then use delta theta, theta and delta T and we're going to find v hat, omega hat, and gamma hat. And then from those, we're going to find the probability, which is the difference between v and v hat, omega and omega hat, and gamma hat, p1, p2, and p3. And we're going to pass those through our triangular distribution um, for modeling error, and then return p1, p2, and p3. Let's take a look. Okay, so here's our MATLAB script to solve this problem. So this first section here is defining all of the problem statement variables, including delta t, the initial pose xt minus one, as well as the final pose xt, our control input v omega, and then our linear and angular velocity. So we'll just run that section there because that's just defining all of our variables. Then the next section when we run it, will define our circle parameters that are found using the algorithm on the previous slide. So if I run that section, I will see that u is 1.2, that x and y for our instantaneous center of curvature circle is 0, 2.535, the radius for the circle is 2.535, and delta theta is 0 0.7896. Then if I run the section on the next part, then I will get v hat, omega hat, and gamma hat, so that I get that the linear velocity is one, that the angular velocity is 0.3948, and gamma hat is negative 0.0021. And finally, we have our section for the probabilities for our modeling error. And remember that alpha is 0 0.15, and so we're going to have v minus v hat, omega minus omega hat, and gamma minus gamma hat, which is going to represent our mean values for our probabilities. And our standard deviations are going to be alpha times v squared plus alpha times omega squared for b1, alpha times v squared plus alpha times omega squared for b2 and b3 as well. So then we pass in our three probabilities. They're going to be passed into our triangular distribution. And we solve for p1 times p2 times p3. So we get that p1 is 0.98. P2 is 0.979, P3 is 0.979, and so the overall posterior belief that our robot will reach that location is 0.9399. The last thing we have on our MATLAB script is just our function for finding the triangular distribution probability. 
And this concludes our example on velocity-based motion modeling. Thank you for coming. Thank you for listening and have a robotastic day.